Today, we're taking a fancy bus off to the Cameron Highlands, Malaysia. In 1885, a British government surveyor called William Cameron found an elevated area of Malaysia, approximately three hours' drive north of Kuala Lumpur, that was named in his honour as the Cameron Highlands. The area was not lost when William Cameron found it. It had a distinct local population known as Orong Asli, which now comprises approximately 148,000 people, about 0.7% of Malaysia's population, who still reside in the area. The British colonists liked the cooler climate of the Cameron Highlands, so they set up camp, moved in, built the infrastructure they were used to, and started farming the land. The land is now controlled by others in Malaysia, yet a practice started by the colonists still prevails. Virgin forest is being cleared for agriculture or to be replanted with palm trees to produce palm oil. Hopefully, attitudes change and some of the original Cameron Highlands beauty is left untouched to be seen by future generations. As we progressed further into the Cameron Highlands, the landscape gradually changed to accommodate modern agricultural land use practices. Forests have been cleared and replaced with greenhouses, growing strawberries, vegetables and many flowering plants which supply the Malaysian cities and towns. Stay with us and we'll show you around. We're on the strawberry farm in the Cameron Highlands. Here's Trudge, the strawberry picker, the, the strawberry, strawberry eater. Mm. Mm. Do they taste good, mm. Trudge? Well, there you go. Look at that. Yum. All mm. gone. So here's Trudge picking the strawberries. They look beautiful. We put them in the basket. And you have a look at all these strawberries growing here. Yum, yum. And they taste nice and juicy. And there was kilometres and kilometres and kilometres of these sort of places with covering over them growing strawberries. How about that? So they have lots of green houses in the Cameron Highlands and everything looks to be growing pretty well. Look at the flowers. Down the bottom they've got more strawberries. What's over there Trudge? Hibiscus. I wish I could grow my hibiscus like this. Mm. You might have to build you a, a greenhouse at home. I think I need to put more fertilizer on. Look at the chilies growing. They've got red chilies and black chilies, green chilies. Oh, look at these. Chili, chili. I'll just try this. There's some strawberries for you. Some nice tomatoes. Sweet potatoes. Don't know what that is. And some lettuce. Well, we'd seen all the lovely flowers and strawberries at the strawberry farm and we moved on to the butterfly farm, which was not quite what we expected because it had a menagerie of all different insects and things that were local to the area. There's Trutch getting a, stroking a rhino beetle. Look at that. Trutch has got a millipede on her arm. Look at that, she's got a new sort of bracelet. Oh, look at it go. Oh, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little Crunchy. So, imagine waking up at night and finding one of these bugs in your bed. Yay. There he is, a butterfly doing his business on the flower. Koi fish. Oh, look at the size of this one. Where? You ask for the butterfly? 
There we go. Here's some good giant butterflies. How about them? Vampire ones. Next we went for lunch and we got a sample of different Malaysian foods that we ate off a banana leaf. After lunch we went to a place called the Honey Bee Farm which grew lots of flowers and they had lots of little hives with the bees. So here we have the Honey Bee Garden and they have a great place where they have lots of honey bees and you can get honey that's good for your health, for your bones. Oh, it looks like Trudge is going down. Gonna I'll stop here and Trudge is going to go down and check it out. Go for it, Trudge. And that pretty much was it for the honeybee farm. It had lots of small hives and plenty of flowers for the bees. Pretty good, eh? I'm at the tea plantation in the Cameron Valley. The plantation goes on for a long way and it's really, really steep. And all the grounds are terraced and the tea is grown on terrace places. It's a bit steep for me, so I'm left it for Trudge to go down and hope she gets a few pictures while she's down there. But it's very, very interesting. All terraced. Wow. That pretty much did us for the Cameron Valley Tea Plantation. We had a terrific time, well worth a visit, and we bought some tea to take home. So, that was our day at the Cameron Highlands. Did you have a good day, Trudge? I have. It's not over yet, Julie. Yeah. We might see something else on the way. Huh? You never know. We might see something else on the way. Unexpected. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and would you believe it? After we thought everything was finished for the day, we found some waterfalls at the bottom of the mountain. Look at that. Well everybody, that was our trip to the Cameron Highlands. We had an absolutely great day and if you're in Kuala Lumpur, it's well worth a trip to come up and see what you can see up there. Don't forget to take a jacket and have yourselves a good day and we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye! Bye everybody, see you next time!